Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to do the gun glitch. And I'm also going to give you a couple of tips when it comes to shooting and uh, basically killing people, okay? So, the thing is, uh, the first thing you need is actually uh, a car, right? And then the gun glitch is very easy. All you have to do is hold space. So just watch me do this. Hold space, press E, and then press 1. You have to be really fast about it. E and then 1, E and then 1. Ready? Here, 1, 2, 3, go. See, so it didn't work there now. But I would I would spam one after you hit the E. So watch. Spam one. And there you go. My gun is sticking out. And I can actually hurt the person. So I have a dummy right here. And he's getting hurt. So when you're glitching, this is what it's going to look like when you get out. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's a floating gun in the air. So some of the mistakes that I notice a lot of people are making um, is that whenever someone gets in a vehicle and they're trying to shoot at um, a person... They're shooting at the windshield and that's not doing any damage. So the one thing that you want to do when you're um, shooting someone in the car, specifically for the Lambo because each car is a little different, what you want to do is you want to shoot directly where his under his, under his name is. So if his name is right here, directly into the windshield. So the windshield actually works right here. And then uh, you can also, if you're on top, you can also shoot at this uh, rectangle right here that you see. It's just like this little square box. You only can shoot from right there. If I shoot right here, it does no damage. Okay, so you notice where my mouse is. There's no damage. But if I shoot him right here in that rectangle, it'll do damage. As well as right here in this rectangle, all right? Notice where my mouse is, or my cursor is. Okay, those are the two spots. Either right here or right here. Now, there's, a, there's also another pretty cool trick. And um, I'm going to have to credit this to Dorito Chip. And what he, he told me was actually to hit them... Uh, basically where their name tag is but the the thing that you actually want to take note of is you're not actually hitting the uh, Name tag you're hitting below that name tag So you're gonna hit them right here like this right below so like right on above the roof But like right here and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you and demonstrate and you can do this at different angles like this Like that as long as this, the bull is passing through like right there See you notice he died so basically if you shoot below his name tag he's gonna die and this is specifically for the uh, the Lambo, okay? Uh, another another tip is that if you ever want to get a key car from him, you can also do that. So let's just say you're on the top, you're on top of a, a cop's car, and you just have to hold it right here, and basically you'll get it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. The car's kind of moving, but if you notice, I'm grabbing it from him, and you have to be behind him. You can't be in front of him and do this. So the points for the Camaro are the exact same thing like the Lambo. But it's a little bit different because they're not rectangles. There's actually squares. So like one right here, you can grab the stuff from him right here. You can also shoot through him right here. So like I can shoot, take out my gun and start pressing and shooting. Uh, and then the other part for the passenger is right here. And then the windows are right here. So the center right here, like right below his name tag. So like his name is right here. And then you want to shoot straight through that window right here. Okay. So that's where the damage is going to be. The same thing over here is the same thing. Um... Another thing to take to take notice is that okay, so because the name tag is floating, you can actually shoot up as well, and so that's pretty cool that you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do, shoot him a few times up here like that, and okay, there you go, he's dead. So the cool thing about the pickup truck is that it is one of the most safest cars to drive in, and the reason why is because when people are shooting at the window, they have to be specific at it they have to be very accurate they have to be like right about here where my cursor is it's like right below their name tag and then like right around here and it only goes across it doesn't go up and down okay but for the passenger side you can actually shoot right here on the side right here and you can uh, hurt them this way okay and then so like like shooting right about there will kill him you can also shoot um if you're on top of the roof you can't penetrate this roof okay so it's not like the lambo and the camaro you can't do that but what you can do is actually shoot right about here where the you, you notice my cursor is like right here where the window is and you'll be able to do damage that way okay and you can just take a look at him right there and start spamming it like this and there you go he's dead so if you notice it has to be very particular it has to be like at an accurate spot if, if he doesn't hit it the right way if he shoots anywhere across his window and is not in the accurate spot, it will do no damage. The next car lined up is actually the Mini Cooper. And uh, a lot of people give this car a hate because it's kind of slow. And then the other thing about it is that it's actually pretty... It's not very safe. And um, I, I hate to admit it, but 
that's the truth and the reason why is because you can actually shoot through the windshield here so like if i shoot him right here that's where you can do the damage if you shoot him right there you can do damage as well and you shoot him right here right below his name tag so like right in the middle below his name tag right there you also get damage and the other part is that you can shoot through the back here and i'm going to demonstrate him dying right here okay so let's go ahead and demonstrate and get some more bullets see that that is why i don't really like the mini cooper but the same way um you can also shoot at the top right here you can also shoot and kill him like that so now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys um uh this so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys him shooting me through the windshield so the next car in line is actually uh the tesla okay and so the tesla points are actually a little different so if you're on you're on top of the car you're actually going to be shooting right here where the windshield is so in this spot this spot right here you'll do damage and then for the driver's side right here and then if you're shooting directly at them you'll be shooting right here where where right below where his name tag is so it's always center okay right in the middle right between their name tag um so like right here if i want to kill him i'm going to go ahead and start shooting him a couple right here shoot him a couple there and then i'm going to go finish him off at the top right here so let me demonstrate and you can also shoot through the windshield as long as you're shooting directly right at that point right there so let's go ahead and kill him there you go and he's dead so he's gonna actually shoot where the wind windshield is right here and there you go he's dead so with the bugatti you're actually going to be shooting the same spot just like the lambo and you're gonna be shooting right in the corner right here so like right there and as well as right here so let me go ahead and demonstrate killing him from right here so let me go ahead and kill him there you go and he's dead and i'm flying and i got a key card from him and then if you're trying to shoot him from the window it will not work okay so it won't kill him the same thing applies just like the lambo if you shoot right above where his name is so like right in the middle and like a little bit lower right above the car right here start spamming at it and he'll actually die so i'm gonna go go ahead and demonstrate that and this doesn't have to be at a particular corner it can be at this corner any corner that you want okay so that's the last of it and um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the rank from safe to uh most th to the least safe okay so anyways guys that's the end of the video and basically i just want to thank you guys for watching and thank dorito chip for actually helping me make this video it would have been a really really boring process if it weren't for him i also want to thank him for making my profile picture what do you guys think about it i think it looks really nice and goes well with the channel art and the person who actually made that channel art is actually uh, the program hacker. So uh, be sure to check him out. Basically, that's it. That's the end of it.